another question that comes up, and this is one that took me a while to get a good answer on, is should you take probiotics with or without food? And there are some theories here that acid in the stomach might kill the bacteria, the probiotic, and therefore take it on an empty stomach, or that you should take probiotics with certain prebiotic foods to help them get down into the colon or the large intestine, or even that you may want to take an enteric coated or acid protected capsule of probiotic so as to allow the probiotic to make its way all the way into the large intestine and then open up there. And one of the things that some of these theories miss is a very seminal paper by Zorzella and colleagues who took heat-killed probiotics and assessed how effective they were. What they found was that killed probiotics were as effective as live probiotics. So the concept that we have to protect the probiotic from acid seems to become moot, uh, one. And then two, to the, the, the question, the thought, the theory that we should use these enteric coated probiotics, it misses literally most of your intestinal tract. Now the large intestine is five feet in length. The small intestine is 22 feet in length. The small intestine absorbs 90 to 95% of calories and nutrients. It's where leaky gut occurs. It is where the most gut receptors occur or are or, or housed like toll receptor four, which we've discussed in the past. It has the greatest density of immune cells and therefore is the most immunoactive. So we are really looking to get the impact of the probiotics in the small intestine. This is where not all, but I would argue most intestinal issues come from, again, given the fact that it is by far four times larger than the large, and ironically, than, than the large intestine. And it's vastly more intricate in terms of the immune expression, receptor density, and how this, of course, impacts things like food reactivity, uh, IBS, and inflammation. So you don't need an enteric capsule to get to the large intestine because we want to have the impact in the small intestine. And there is one study here in particular that I found compelling. They divided the participants into taking probiotics with your meal or 30 minutes away from your meal, and they found no difference. I should also mention that the vast, 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 vast majority of trials do not tell people to take probiotics with or without food, and they do not use enteric coated capsules. So since the body of data in probiotic research is not using particular dosing recommendations, Ray, with or without food, nor are they using special enteric coated capsules, again, we come back to simplicity and come away with take your probiotic whenever works best for you, Focusing on being consistent is the most important. And this is one of the conversations we often have in our practice when we're consulting people. And people will ask, you know, should it be in the morning, at night, with food, without food? And the answer is always, whatever is easiest for you, that is what you should do. Mm -hmm.